in, in our life, me and you and everybody right now, we are, we are Industry 4.0. We're a proud uh, manufacturing entity that's been there for 40 years. We started the project by thinking of the brain. Everyone's talking about artificial intelligence. Everyone's talking about AI. In your view, AI with relation to companies and factories, how would you see them fitting in? We are the first in the region, at least in this industry, to practice a real Industry 4.0. Okay, so what are the aims and the goals that you plan on achieving with Blade for Duca? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome everyone to a uh, second episode of the Duca podcast. And uh, today's agenda, we have some uh, exciting information to share with you. Uh, more or less, it's related to a lot of the trendy subjects right now. We're going to be talking about information technology. We're going to be talking about Ducab's adventure in information technology. And who best uh, to give us a sort of a walk through that adventure uh, other than our Ducab uh, group uh, CIO. Uh, Tamar, welcome to the second episode. Thank you, Abdullah. Uh, my name is Tamer Hamid. I am uh, I'm the CIO of uh, Ducab Group. Um, I'm with Ducab now for about uh, six years. Uh, before, I was working here in uh, UAE in, uh, in and in other companies uh, in pharmaceutical industry ma- mainly, and I was also responsible for the digitalization and information technology among the group in, in more than 40 countries across the world. I'm graduated from Egypt and I'm specialized in the computer science, specifically in the optimizing the business in computer science. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I want to be able to vouch for a lot, you know, but more or less you know, 25 years of experience plus uh, the changes that you have done in the company. And uh, since we, you joined the kind of collaboration we've done and, and a lot of things together, I sure, think yeah. you know, that talks for itself. Okay. So uh, DoCab or uh, any other industry that is out there, everybody's now talking about Industry 4.0 and it's a big buzz. So, I mean, give us your overview of Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0, it started by the Industrial Revolution, which is started by uh, um, 1870s or 1850s. And uh, it started only by using the water and the stream in manufacturing. And that was the first, the first industry revolution happened. Then it comes on the... Uh, uh, late late uh, uh, 80s by by adding the the new uh, movement of the electricity the third revolution it started by uh, mid mid of 90s by 90 uh, by 1969 or 1970s and that started by the new uh, coming of uh, mechanics combination between the mechanics between the computer science and between the electricity mm-hmm. as well it takes decades until it comes to the uh, uh, industry 4.0 and I'm, I'm i'm saying industry 4.0 revolu- revolution because it started by uh, in 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 20 the idea itself it started in 2011 and then it it came uh, by reality in 2015 uh, it depends on clouds. It depends on uh, it depends on uh, mobi- mobili- mobility. It depends on uh, uh, cybersecurity. So a lot of a lot of aspects now start added and uh, add on on the industry 4.0 itself. How it's changing or how it's coming to the to the industry or to the manufacturing itself? Because when you are talking industry 4.0, it's a technology, it's a method, but it it, it involved in too many uh, aspects. So. Let us say, as an example, they are using it very much on the, uh, uh, what do you call it, in the storage, in yes. the trading, in the um, distribution. Commercial aspects. In the commercial aspects. They are used it in manufacturing. They are used it in pharmaceutical. They are used it in different, different uh, areas. In, in our life, me and you and everybody right now, we are, we are industry 4.0. Yeah, the power of data, the, the information that you can extract from data. Yeah. This is uh, becoming uh, very sort of uh, a demand and a powerful tool. And uh, as well, I mean, I mean, governments themselves have, have noticed the power of data and the government is, is very much supportive and pushing towards a lot of uh, initiatives that are related to Industry 4.0. I, I can say that UAE government is one of the worldwide government. I can say the, 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 first, the first country or the number one country which is giving the, the highest priority and the highest uh, uh, interest to the technology in, in general and the Industry 4.0 in a specific one way or another now we're looking at what in industry 4.0 is 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 sort of uh, very attractive to everyone right now what's everyone talking about everyone's talking about artificial intelligence everyone's talking about ai 
in your view, AI with relation to companies and factories, how would you see them fitting in? Uh, when we are talking about artificial intelligence, it's same like Industry 4.0. It's having a three three uh, uh, revolutions, let me say. Mm -hmm. So it started by um, uh, something called one-way one -way artificial intelligence, like Siri in your mobile. The second revolution, it started by understanding the question, your your problems, before asking it. Now the revolution, and that's that's we are still on the border right now, talking about the artificial intelligence, the natural artificial intelligence, which now it started like you can talk easily, and the artificial intelligence will understand what you want, and it will learn from you. And that's mm -hmm. what we came to the th third level right now, talking about the machine learning. The fourth one, which is coming uh, 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 in the pipeline right now, which is uh, uh, the, the NLP, uh, artificial intelligence. How we utilize all of this here in, in, in our uh, DUCAP, when we start implementing the Industry 4.0, we put the ML and AI on the top of the, the, the projects which we start using it. So it starts calculating what's the habit of sales team. Mm -hmm. So how they are ordering, how they are putting their orders, how they are communicating with their customers, how they're communicating with their vendors, even how they are, how the, our supply chain team is communicating. It will evaluate so, credibility. Exactly, and, and it will everything. it will evaluate everything. It takes it takes we we call it we call it in the in our in our uh, terminologies a data science. So how the artificial intelligence and how the industry 4.0 helped you to give the most important output of mm -hmm. this machine, how you are going to optimize the utilization of the material to get the best material, get it on time, utilize it on time, use the exact number or exact quantity or exact number of material, so reduce the waste, uh, get it on time, all of this related to the M, to the uh, material, and the manpower, how you can utilize the manpower based on each mat machine or material or cost centers. So we walked into 4.0, we stumbled upon AI, put them together, you're leading a project called Blade. Played. What's Blade and Ducap? So Blade is, is just to uh, align everything, align the sales with supply chain, with the manufacturing, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, lean. And that's why I'm saying lean, lean, because when you lean it, it doesn't mean that you reduce. Lean means that you have to make all of them on the same box, on the same... You align, basically. You're aligning. You're aligning them. So that's what we are doing. We are aligning the, the sales activities with the supply chain activity with the manufacturing activity and make the, the the communication between three of them is smooth simultaneous it's aligning the requirement or the utilization of the machines the material the manpower to get the maximum out of the margin we started the project by thinking of the brain the the, the planning so the brain of the organization is the planning and we started optimizing and building the, the proper uh, uh, planning module and planning system where it's going to think for us as an organization, not only for today, but giving you the, the expected forecast using the technology, whatever we mentioned, the material, the, the machine learning, the artificial intelligence to tell you next year how it's going to be, next three years how it's going to be, and even up to seven years later Based on how, the market, how it's going uh, to be. Intelligence, yes. yes. Blade has certain goals and there are certain goals that Ducab is hoping to achieve with Blade. And additionally, I mean, uh, there is a certain advantage. Yeah, yeah. Ducab is going to be different than other uh, sort of manufacturing companies. We are in, the first. The we are the first in the region, at least in this industry, to practice a real Industry 4.0. OK, so what are the aims and the goals that you plan on achieving with Blade for Ducab? First of all, to get the maximum out of uh, out of uh, um, out of the machines and out of the uh, operations. So we are aiming to have 20% extra out mm -hmm. utilization of, of the machines, Okay. which I think it's achievable, very much achievable. So you're happy. basically 20% uh, uh, improvement in uptime. We are aiming to reduce the material consumption mm -hmm. by at least 10 to 15%, connecting the people, the shop floor to the top floor, 
that's one of one of the major uh, uh, output everybody should look for when we are talking about industry 4.0 so you break the you break the the gaps between the top floor to the shop floor and vice versa Good. so that's what that's what we are uh, aiming to uh, to have and uh, and we already we already start having right now if you want to stay on the on the business or if you want to stay on the on the business you have to be innovative so I, I think we're a, we're a proud uh, manufacturing entity that's been there for 40 years and I think it's 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 the right thing right now to even be more proud being also one of the first manufacturing entities to introduce a lot of uh, sort of technology improvements in its perfect manufacturing uh, exactly. processes yeah. to make them even more perfect thank you very much for sort of taking us through the journey uh, or the uh, sort of the adventure of, of blade in in in, uh, in Ducab. And uh, thank you for being a very supportive uh, sort of uh, uh, information technology expert that we have in the company. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to just explain and giving the understanding of what's the project which we are doing and what kind of technology we are used to do, to practice and to implement this, uh, this project. And uh, I would like to thank everybody involved in this uh, project. Thank sure. you very much, Tamar, and thank you for your time. Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.